All right, and welcome to day 15 of the 100 Days of Narration Challenge. Now, uh, today's book is going to be Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This was going to be the original book 14, because I thought, well, you know, maybe maybe Red Dwarf uh, Better Than Life would be too easy as the seventh day book for the... Sorry, sorry, too hard, rather, too hard. Did I say too easy or too hard? Too hard uh, to guess as the uh, mystery book for the seventh day. But no, every single person guessed it. Every single person guessed it. Well, there was one person who didn't guess it. But every person who messaged me guessed it. And um, that was that was not great. So um, I decided to do what I did yesterday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Still not revealing the name of the book. Uh, yesterday. So, um... And so today, uh, yeah, and then bumped Harry Potter to day 15, basically. So I think you all know what this book is about already, because if you don't, then, my God, what rock have you been living under? God. Unless, of course, you're more of a Twilight fan, in which case, you know, you're banned from a channel. Go away. No, 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 no Twilight for you. Never Twilight. Maybe I should read Twilight next. I've never actually read the Twilight books. I mean, I tried reading the first book, the first couple of pages that were free um, uh, from uh, Amazon. You know, they do the whole, like, you can read the first couple of pages and then you can buy the rest of the book. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, then I tried to write the first three pages and it was horrifically painful. It burned my soul to read such writing. It was like being back in high school or again, reading my Dragonlance novels and not realizing they're kind of not great most of the time. Well, there was some stuff there that was good. I should break it out, actually. The really good, the dra the really good Dragonlance stuff. There is, there, 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 I mean, there's some legitimately great stuff in the Dragonlance uh, universe, which I really enjoyed, but uh, I don't even know if I have those books anymore. I mean, I've got what have you heard before? I should stop talking now. I should just, you know, just stop at a page. Here we go. Page. Page 171. And just read out. <clears throat> Ron looked up at Hermione. Oh, God. I forgot which pronunciation I'm supposed to be doing for her name. Hermione. Disgusted. You sleep with this under your pillow? But Hermione was spared answering was spared answering by Madame Pomfrey, sweeping over the sweeping over with her evening dose of medicine. Is Lockhart the smarmiest bo bloke you've ever met, or what? Ron said to Harry as they left the dormitory. As they left the dormitory, Dorm dormitory? Why am I s where where is that end coming from? Dormitory, 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 and started up the stairs towards Gryffindor Tower. Snape had given he had given them so much homework. Harry thought he was unlikely to be in sixth year before he finished it. Ron was just saying he wished he had asked her harm harm Ah, uh, my temptation is to read it as Hermione, but uh, Jaime harm harm Why did I insist on reading this book before figuring out what the name, what pronunciation I'm gonna do? Ah, uh, Hermione, 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 Hermione. That sounds right, Hermione. <clears throat> Hermione, how many rat tails you were supposed to add to a hair-raising potion when an angry outburst from the floor above reached their ears? I was going to say caught their ears. From the floor above reached their ears. That's Filch, Harry muttered as they hurried up the stairs and paused, out of sight, listening hard. Uh, you don't think someone else has been attacked? said Ron tensely. They stood still, their heads inclined towards Filch's voice, which sounded quite hysterical. Even more work for me, muffing all night like I haven't got enough to do. No, this is the final straw. I'm going to rumble. His footsteps receded, and they heard a distant door slam. They poked their heads around the corner. Filch had clearly been manning his usual lookout post. They were once again on the spot where Mrs. Norris had been attacked. They saw the gl they saw at a glance what Filch had been shouting about. A great flood of water stretched over half of the corridor. Uh, sorry, a great flood of water stretched over half the corridor, and it looked as if, and looked as though, and it looked as though it was still seeping from under the door of Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Now Filch had stopped shouting. Now Filch had stopped shouting. They could hear Myrtle's wails. They could hear Myrtle's wails echoing off the bathroom walls. Now what's up with her? Said Harry. Let's go and see. Said Harry. Sorry, said Ron. 
Now what's up with her, said Ron. Let's go and see, said Harry. When holding their robes over their ankles, they stepped through the great wash of water to the door bearing its out-of-order sign, ignored it as always, and entered. Moaning Myrtle was crying, if possible, louder and harder than ever before. She seemed to be hiding down her usual toilet. It was dark in the bathroom because the candles had been extinguished in a great fresh of water that had been bu- Sorry. Because the candles had been extinguished in the great rush of water that had left both walls and floor soaking wet. What's up, Myrtle? said Harry. Who's that? glugged Myrtle mis- glugged Myrtle miserably. Oh wow. <laughs> that's that's very nice. That's very nice. Who's that? Who's that? glugged Myrtle miserably. Come to throw some and ends right there. Ends at a in the middle of a sentence. Well, I started at the start of a sentence, so that's good enough, I guess, for me. So yeah, that was um, that was a bit all over the place, really. It got better towards the end, but at the beginning with a uh, Hermione, Hermione, Hermione. That's probably wrong as well. God damn it. One of these days, I'm going to actually watch the damn films and actually figure out what her name is. Hermione. Hermione. Okay, we'll just go with that pronunciation for now. And you can tell me if I'm wrong again. <clears throat> okay, try it again. Ron looked, up at, Ron looked up at Hermione, disgusted. You sleep with this under your pillow? But Hermione was spared answering by Mandam Pomfrey, sweeping over with her evening dose of medicine. Is Lockhart the smarmiest bloke you've ever met, or what? Ron said to Harry as they left the dorm- dormitory. D- I'm doing it again, dormitory. Why am I saying that? I know this word. It's dormitory. Har- Ron said to Harry as they left the dormitory and started up the t- and started up the stairs towards the Gryffindor Tower. There's no the in there. And started up the stairs towards Gryffindor Tower. Snape had given them- Snake had given them so much homework. Harry thought he was likely to be in the sixth year before he finished it. Ron was just saying he wished he had asked Hermione how many rat tails you were supposed to add to a hair-raising potion when an angry outburst from the floor above reached their ears. That's Filch, Harry muttered, as they hurried up the stairs and paused, out of sight, listening hard. You don't think someone else has been attacked, said Harry. Sorry. You don't think someone else has been attacked, said Ron, tersely. Tensely. Tensely. Making up different words. You don't think someone else has been attacked, said Ron tensely. They stood still, their heads inclined towards Filch's voice, which sounded quite hysterical. Even more work for me to do. Oh, sorry. Even more work for me, mopping all night like I haven't got enough to do. No, this is a final straw. I'm going to Dumbledore. His footsteps receded, and they heard a distant door slam. They poked their heads around the corner. Filch had cl- Filch had clearly been manning his usual lookout post. They were once again on the spot where Mrs. Norris had been attacked. They saw at a glance what Filch had been shouting about. A great flood of water stretched a great flood of water stretched out over half the corridor. Uh did, did I say that right? A great flood of water stretched over half the corridor, and it looked as though it was seeping still and it looked as though and looked as though it was still seeping from under the door of Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Now Filch had stopped shouting. They could hear Myrtle's wails echoing off the bathroom walls. Now what's up with her, said Ron. Let's go and see, said Harry. And holding their robes over their ankles, they stepped through the great wash of water to the door. They stepped, oh, <clears throat> they stepped through the great wash of water to the, uh, they stepped through the great wash of water to the door bearing its out of order sign, ignored it as always, and entered. Moaning Myrtle was crying, if possible, louder and harder than ever before. She seemed to be hiding down her usual toilet. It was dark in the bathroom because the candles had been extinguished in the great rush of water that had left both the walls and floor soaking wet. What's up, Myrtle? said Harry. Who's that? glugged Myrtle, mer- glugged Myrtle miserably. <laughs> I, lo- I love that. I love alliteration, but, um, God, that's hard to say. Glugged Myrtle miserably. Come to throw some and sentence ends there. Okay, so that was the second pass. Um, again, I'm having trouble with the beginning. It might be just because the Hermione, just trying to remember that name every time, just distracts me from the rest of the uh, the, the rest of the reading. 
and just, you know, picks up towards the end. <clears throat> well, picks up a little bit better towards the end. Um, yeah, from the top, I guess. <clears throat> Third past. Uh, Ron looked at Harma. Uh, <laughs> I got her name. Ron looked up at Hermione, disgusted. You sleep with this under your pillow? But Hermione was spared answering by Madame Pomfrey, sweeping over with her evening dose of medicine. Is Lockhart the smarmiest bloke you've ever met or what? Ron said to Harry as they left the dormitory. Every single time. Christ. Ron said to Harry as they left the dormitory and started up the, sta and started up the stairs towards Gryffindor Tower. Snape had given the... Snape had given them so much homework, Harry thought he was likely to be in sixth year before he finished it. Ron was saying how he wished... Ron was just saying he wished he had asked Hermione how many rat tails you were supposed to add to a hair-raising potion when an angry outburst from the floor above reached their ears. That's Filch, Harry muttered, as they hurried up the stairs and paused, out of sight, listening hard. You don't think someone else has been attacked, said Ron tensely. They stood still, their heads inclined towards Filch's voice, which sounded quite hysterical. Even more work for me, mopping all night like I haven't got enough to do. No, this is a final straw. I'm going to Dumbledore. That actually kind of rhymes. It is the, oh, this is the final straw. I'm going to Dumbledore. And there's a song and dance number with Filch. Oh god, that image is stuck in my head now. That's horrible. Why did I do that? <clears throat> okay. His footsteps receded, and they heard a distant door slam. They poked their heads around the corner. Filch had clearly been manning his usual lookout post. They were once again on the spot where Mrs. Norris had been attacked. They saw at a glance what Filch had been shouting about. A great flood of water stretched over half the corridor, and it looked as though it was still seeping, and looked and it looked as though it was still seeping from under the door of Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Now Filch had stopped. Now Filch had... No, sorry. Now Filch had stopped shouting. Now Filch had stopped shouting. They could hear Myrtle's wails echoing off the bathroom walls. Now what's up with her, said Ron. Let's go and see, said Harry. And holding their robes over their ankles, they stepped through the great wash of water to the door bearing its out-of-order sign, ignored it as always, and entered. Moaning Myrtle was crying, if possible, louder and harder than ever before. She seemed to be hiding down her usual toilet. It was dark in the bathroom. It was dark in the bathroom because the candles had been extinguished in the great flood of water that had, left, that had left both walls and floor soaking wet. What's up, Myrtle? said Harry. Who's that? glugged Myrtle miserably. Come to throw some... And sentence ends there. So yeah, um... That was day 15, the book being Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling. Wait, did I actually mention that at the beginning? Oh, you guys know what this book is anyway. It's the second Harry Potter trilogy. Trilogy? No, that's not right. The Harry, Bo Harry Potter series. Um, septuplet? Sextuplet? I, I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so day 15 is down. Uh, tomorrow, we go on to day 16. Thank you.